Hello, and welcome to this sleep story. I'm Tyler Boss. This sleep meditation will help you relax, de-stress, and let go of any worries that are preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. If you've been struggling with anxiety, unable to calm your nerves, this Bible meditation will help you find relief. As you listen to the comforting words of the scriptures, you'll be reminded of God's unfailing love in the midst of every trial. Tonight, we'll be focusing on verses from Psalm 94, verses that assure us of God's unfailing love and support. We'll be encouraged to let go of fear and anxiety. And we'll experience the freedom God offers as we lean on him through every circumstance. But before we begin, please take a few moments to settle into bed. Make yourself comfortable and take a few deep breaths to help you relax. Whisper a quiet prayer inviting the Holy Spirit to be with you. Ask for his presence in Jesus name. Inhale and exhale. Feel every muscle relax as you center your thoughts on God's word in his presence tonight. Now, let me pray over you. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with this listener tonight. I pray that you will cover them with an amazing amount of peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding and comes from your spirit. I pray that no matter where they are in the world and no matter what they're feeling, that you will be with them and free them from all anxiousness. Lord, please help this person release every ounce of worry and stress to you right here in the stillness of the room lead them to extend their arms as a symbol of letting go of all the things that are troubling them please help them help them to know that you are with them and that you love them deeply lord I ask that you help this listener experience the freedom you offer when they look to you for answers and guidance instead of looking to the world please help them remain in step with your spirit letting you guide them in every decision help them to abide in the true vine allowing you to prune away all the things that don't belong and help them to rest in the protective shelter of your wings in the precious name of Jesus I pray amen now take one more slow breath in and exhale out listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy 
rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms 
Lord, now you're letting your servant depart in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. According to the word of the Lord, Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel, a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people. He is your consolation, your light, and your glory. Through comfort, compassion, relief, and strength, Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace. There is no need to be anxious anymore. Every need you have is covered in Jesus. He comforts you. He offers compassion and relief from every worry. He strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control. Release everything to him. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Rest in the joy of the Lord. Feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm. In him, you have received healing and renewal. The old things are gone and the new has come. All anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace. In Psalm 119, we hear these words. Remember your promise to me and is my only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. Remember God's promises. They are your hope. They comfort you in every trouble. He promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand. He promises to love you with an everlasting love. He promises to be with you always, never leaving you or forsaking you. Rest deeply in the promises of God tonight. Doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides. Fear is cast out where God's peace resides. Anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills. Worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills. Gracious God, please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace. Bless them as they rest in you. Keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night. Thank you, Lord, for freeing this person of all anxiety. Right here, right now, we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest. As this child sleeps tonight, I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises, promises of your unfailing love and goodness. I pray for restorative sleep 
that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy 
it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles in the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles in the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me it is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always 
never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live and unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way 
steady, strong, unchanging, unfailing. That's what God's love is. Rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you, supporting you, and setting you free. Let's pray. Precious God, holy God, as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease, we feel your love increase more and more. Thank you. We praise you. We rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit. For where your spirit is, there is freedom. Tonight, Lord, break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener. Cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest. Open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy. It is in the name of Jesus we pray these things. Amen. Listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy. When I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Rest on the word consolation for a moment. Consolation means comfort, compassion, relief, and strength. Your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ, His Son. I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated. You see, Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah, the consolation of Israel. And by the divine providence of God, his eyes beheld the newborn king. This is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms. Lord, now you're letting your servant depart in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. According to the word of the Lord, Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel, a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people. He is your consolation, your light, and your glory. Through comfort, compassion, relief, and strength, Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace. There is no need to be anxious anymore. Every need you have is covered in Jesus. He comforts you. He offers compassion and relief from every worry. He strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that He has everything under control. Release everything 
to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments
each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace 
according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God 
for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen 
listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles in the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you 
rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live and unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we've found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong 
unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles in the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him 
when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us 
at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we've found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage of comfort and joy when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest on the word consolation for a moment consolation means comfort compassion relief and strength your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ his son I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated you see Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah the consolation of Israel and by the divine providence of God his eyes beheld the newborn King this is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms Lord now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word 
for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel according to the word of the Lord Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people he is your consolation your light and your glory through comfort compassion relief and strength Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace there is no need to be anxious anymore every need you have is covered in Jesus he comforts you he offers compassion and relief from every worry he strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that he has everything under control release everything to him when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace in Psalm 119 we hear these words remember your promise to me and is my only hope your promise revives me it comforts me in all my troubles remember God's promises they are your hope they comfort you in every trouble he promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand he promises to love you with an everlasting love he promises to be with you always never leaving you or forsaking you rest deeply in the promises of God tonight doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides fear is cast out where God's peace resides anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills gracious God please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace bless them as they rest in you keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night thank you Lord for freeing this person of all anxiety right here right now we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest as this child sleeps tonight I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed thank you God for your comfort 
and peace in Jesus name when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love amen listen to these comforting words from Psalm 94 verses 18 and 19 when I said my foot is slipping your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy rest in those words for a few moments each of us at different times in our lives has felt as though our feet were slipping either by our own choices or habits or by life circumstances of which we have no control we have found ourselves slipping away and even falling a time or two if this describes you please know that you're not alone other brothers and sisters in Christ have slipped as well and many have found themselves living a life of imbalance and struggling to remain steady on their feet but please remember this God's unfailing love is always there to support you you are not left to figure out things for yourself he is there to uphold you to help you get back on your feet and then to lead you in the way you should go you can trust him lean on him and rest in him there is great peace in knowing that God's unfailing love never leaves you he supports you every step of the way steady strong unchanging unfailing that's what God's love is rest in the stillness of the room and feel God's unfailing love surrounding you supporting you and setting you free let's pray precious God holy God as the remnants of worry and anxiety decrease we feel your love increase more and more thank you we praise you we rest in your presence and find freedom in your spirit for where your spirit is there is freedom tonight Lord break every stronghold of anxiety in the life of this listener cut the chains of fretfulness and unrest open wide the window of your peace and usher in the sweet fragrance of joy it is in the name of Jesus we pray these things amen listen again to our Bible passage 
of comfort and joy. When I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Rest on the word consolation for a moment. Consolation means comfort, compassion, relief, and strength. Your consolation comes from the unfailing love of God through Jesus Christ, His Son. I'm reminded of a beautiful passage of Scripture that tells of a man named Simeon who was led by the Spirit to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated. You see, Simeon had long awaited the birth of the Messiah, the consolation of Israel. And by the divine providence of God, his eyes beheld the newborn king. This is what Simeon said when he took Jesus in his arms. Lord, now you're letting your servant depart in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. According to the word of the Lord, Jesus came to be the consolation of Israel, a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people. He is your consolation, your light, and your glory. Through comfort, compassion, relief, and strength. Jesus casts all anxiety away and replaces it with perfect peace. There is no need to be anxious anymore. Every need you have is covered in Jesus. He comforts you. He offers compassion and relief from every worry. He strengthens you and leads you into the assurance that He has everything under control. Release everything to Him. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. rest in the joy of the Lord feel his peace wash over you like a healing balm in him you have received healing and renewal the old things are gone and the new has come all anxieties are taken away and replaced by God's consolation of peace. In Psalm 119, we hear these words. Remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. Remember God's promises. They are your hope. They comfort you in every trouble. He promises to uphold you with his righteous right hand. He promises to love you with an everlasting love. He promises to be with you always, never leaving you or forsaking you. 
rest deeply in the promises of God tonight. Doubt cannot remain where God's truth abides. Fear is cast out where God's peace resides. Anxiety runs dry as God's presence fills. Worries are calmed as the Holy Spirit stills. Gracious God, please remember this beloved listener tonight as they sleep soundly in your presence and in your grace. Bless them as they rest in you. Keep them in the fold of your unfailing love and guard them through every hour of the night. Thank you, Lord, for freeing this person of all anxiety. Right here, right now, we trust you to cast out all traces of fretfulness and unrest. As this child sleeps tonight, I ask that you fill their dreams with reminders of your promises promises of your unfailing love and goodness. I pray for restorative sleep that will help them wake up in the morning refreshed and renewed. Thank you, God, for your comfort and peace. In Jesus name. When I said my foot is slipping, your unfailing love Lord supported me when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy sleep now in the peaceful consolation of joy and be free free to live in unity with the Lord safe secure and surrounded by his unfailing love. Amen. Regardless of the circumstances, there is hope. First and foremost, that hope comes from God. No one knew this more than King David. As a shepherd boy, David killed both a lion and a bear. As a teenager, he conquered the giant Goliath. As a young man, he ran and hid from King Saul, who wanted to kill him. Finally, he became king of Israel and would fight in many battles. He witnessed many traumatic moments in his life, and yet he knew that God was right there with him. David wrote in Psalm 91, 4 through 6, He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. David went through very stressful and traumatic moments in his life, yet he continued to worship God. He had faith in knowing that God would cover him, and he knew that he didn't need to be anxious for anything. As you rest and get ready for sleep, we will go through the life of David and learn what to do when faced with a traumatic experience that leads to post-traumatic stress disorder. Let's prepare for a good night of sleep. Turn off and set aside any distractions in your room. As you settle into bed, Feel the coziness of your sheets 
blankets and pillow get into a nice comfortable position and just relax quiet your mind of anything that you may be worried about or stressed about let all the muscles in your body loosen from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet get rid of any tension in your shoulders and your neck if you need to allow your body to stretch do so and feel your whole body relaxing as you continue to settle into your bed see your body getting into a state of comfort and feel a sense of warm calmness come over you before we focus on your breathing get a nice big yawn in and as you breathe out let all anxiety and fear leave your body let's now pay attention to your breathing feel your chest rise and fall with each breath take a nice big breath in and see confidence enter in through your mouth as you breathe out let your chest slowly lower and see any stress you are holding on to leave your body take another big breath in and see peace enter your body and as you breathe out see any and all anxiety exit continue to focus on your breathing as you get rid of all the tension in your body whenever you exhale feel yourself relaxing and falling into a deep sleep start to bring your breathing back to a normal state and take a quick inventory of your body and relax any part that you feel is still tense God most gracious Heavenly Father thank you for always being there for us and even when we're feeling alone you are still there your word says that you will never leave us nor forsake us and as your beloved child closes their eyes to go to sleep let them take great encouragement in those words Lord as they sleep I ask that you would cover them with your strong and mighty wings let them feel your protection let them find refuge in your amazing faithfulness right now let them choose to trust you and as they dream the terror that has come at night will dissipate and you will fill their dreams with things that give them joy in peace thank you Lord and let them get a full night of restful sleep and when they wake up in the morning let them feel completely rested thank you in advance in your name amen if there was ever a candidate in the Bible for someone who most likely dealt with PTSD it would have been David imagine being a shepherd boy and facing down a lion and a bear then he faced a giant named Goliath then he hid from the jealous King Saul who wanted to kill him finally he was a king who fought in many battles there was a lot of trauma David faced how did he handle it because of David's obedience to God the prophet Samuel told King Saul 
that David was a man after God's own heart David is the only person referred to this way in the Bible but that doesn't mean that David had it easy in life imagine that you are sitting in the shade of a big tree in an open field it's a nice clear and sunny day a light breeze blows over you and you get a whiff of the sweet smell of flowers blooming in the pasture you look out and you see lots of sheep grazing they also seem to be enjoying the amazing weather suddenly you hear the sound of music you look over sitting on a rock nearby is a young David watching over the flock he's playing his harp take a moment and enjoy the gentle crystal clear sound coming from David's harp as you listen notice that the music is like that of worship it's very pleasing to both your ears and your soul you find yourself in a very grateful mood take a moment and thank God as you listen to the worship music coming out of David's harp father thank you for your many blessings you have blessed this child of yours so much Lord I ask that you bless them now with a great night of sleep Psalm 138 1 through 8 says the following I thank you Lord with all my heart I sing praise to you before the gods I face your holy temple bow down and praise your name because of your constant love and faithfulness because you have shown that your name and your commands are supreme you answered me when I called to you with your strength you strengthened me all the kings in the world will praise you Lord because they have heard your promises they will sing about what you have done and about your great glory even though you are so high above you care for the lowly and the proud cannot hide from you when I am surrounded by troubles you keep me safe you oppose my angry enemies and save me by your power you will do everything you have promised Lord your love is eternal complete the work that you have begun now that you're finished worshiping and hearing God's Word you feel a sense of confidence as you look out into the pasture you see a lion sneaking up on a lamb before you know it you see David jump in and defeat the lion with his staff he then picks up the lamb and returns it to the other sheep you're amazed at how this young man is not only fearless but how he treats his sheep with so much love and care you continue to watch David even though he was calm in the moment you can see that the event had a profound effect on him he looks as if he just went through something dramatic he goes back to the rock he was sitting on and continues to play his harp you see that the worship music he is playing has a calming effect on him the music also has a calming effect on you so much so that you fall into a deep sleep now you find yourself standing off to the side in a large tent surrounding you are some very nervous Israelite soldiers there seems to be some arguing among them 
you hear one soldier call out King Saul what are we to do about this giant of a man everyone gets quiet and they all turn their attention to the center of the tent sitting there is a man King Saul he's sitting at a round table he looks stressed and tired he looks around the room and doesn't know how to answer the question just then everyone hears a voice shouting from a distance one soldier says to another that's Goliath Goliath is taunting them he's calling out to them and challenging them all to a fight he then reminds everyone that he is a Philistine champion he then asks why the Israelites are all soldiers if they're not going to fight everyone's attention returns to King Saul he has no words he looks defeated just then a boy comes walking by you you immediately notice him it's the same shepherd boy you just saw defeat a lion he's looking for his brother so he can give them some food and supplies he finds them and as he walks over to them Goliath's voice can be heard again this time he is asking for the most courageous soldier to face him on the battlefield Saul stands up and says that he will reward the man that faces down Goliath David steps up his brothers try to stop him David asks everyone in the tent who here is going to let this Philistine defy the armies of the Living God no one answers him just then David turns to King Saul and says I am your servant and will go and fight him everyone in the tent laughs but David pleads with King Saul to let him go the king then takes off a piece of his armor for David to wear but it is too big everyone laughs again Psalm 27 1 comes to mind the Lord is my light in my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid father may my friend listening tonight choose to trust you and know that you will take care of their enemies David leaves the tent and everyone follows he pulls a slingshot from his waistband you hear laughter coming from some of the soldiers King Saul and David's brothers have a look of fear on their faces David steps out onto the battlefield and calls out for Goliath Goliath appears as he walks out from among a group of Philistine soldiers he's huge and you are shocked by not only his height but also how strong and broad he is Goliath yells out to David am I a dog that you have come at me with a stick everyone now sees that Goliath is very angry and insulted some of the Israelite soldiers run back into their tents to hide David then yells back in a voice that is surprisingly just as strong as the Giants you come against me with sword and spear and javelin but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied this day the Lord will deliver you into my hands Goliath and his men laugh and unfortunately some of the Israelites do as well then David yells out 
all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands Goliath starts to move toward David and David begins to twirl his slingshot just as Goliath begins to swing his sword David's rock nails Goliath right in his head Goliath falls and is clearly dead everyone is quiet and shocked just then you hear the ram horns blow and the Philistines start running in terror all the Israelites cheer and chase after the Philistines they know the battle is theirs as you stand there watching the soldiers go a sense of peace and calm comes over you David has just reminded you that God will fight your battles for you you no longer have to fight your personal battles alone even when they seem to be so much bigger than you you're reminded that your God is bigger as you turn to go back to the tent you notice that it's no longer there instead you see the opening of a large cave you can hear some familiar music coming from inside the cave your curiosity gets the best of you and you decide to investigate as you enter the cave you take notice of how cold and damp it is you continue to move inside when you see a familiar face he's a bit older now but David is sitting next to a small fire and playing his harp this time he sings along and you recognize the words he sings Psalm 57 verse 1 be merciful to me O God be merciful to me for in you my soul takes refuge in the shadow of your wings I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by David appears tired but the music seems to calm his spirit he puts out his fire and appears to lie down to go to sleep a loud booming voice comes from the mouth of the cave waking up David you look around the corner and see King Saul ordering his men to keep looking for David he tells his men that he knows they are close to finding him then Saul collapses to the ground and falls asleep David sneaks quietly past you and toward Saul he finds Saul's sword lying on the ground nearby David picks up the sword and turns toward Saul he goes to Saul and cuts a piece off his garment he then puts the sword back where he found it and goes back to where he was in the cave he falls asleep and you decide to fall asleep as well the next morning you are awakened by King Saul yelling at his men to wake up you look over and David sits there with tears rolling down his cheeks Saul exits the cave to go on his way as Saul begins to leave David runs after him you follow David to see what is about to happen David yells out after King Saul my Lord the King this day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave I spared you I will not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed look at this piece of your robe in my hand I cut off the corner of your robe 
but did not kill you you look to see what Saul is going to do Saul falls to his knees and begins to weep he then says to David that he is more righteous than himself David runs to him and they embrace thank you Lord for forgiving this precious child of yours there are times when they may not believe that they deserve it but you are a faithful God amen as you look again you find yourself in a palace in fact you're in the throne room where a much older David sits once again he plays his harp and praises God he sings Psalm 30 verses 1 through 3 I will extol you O Lord for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me O Lord my God I cried to you for help and you have healed me O Lord you have brought up my soul from shale you restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit you now realize that there is evidence that David has experienced PTSD after a battle not only on the field but also with his soul the way David handled it was by turning to the Lord for help as you have seen he often cried out to God through both prayer and worship in the end he discovered that the Lord can bring healing and freedom from his inner torment you realize that God's ability to help as you seek his wisdom comfort guidance and strength is beyond measure father I ask that you comfort this precious listener who is suffering under the mental anguish of PTSD please help and comfort this one who has a wounded soul Holy Spirit work mightily to provide peace and comfort may the pains of trauma be covered with the healing power of your word may your son intercede and provide salvation and wholeness and God I pray that those with mental scars would not convert those into forms of physical harm I ask now for your shield of protection Jesus we ask that you would defeat the ills of PTSD finally father I ask that you would heal them so that their future is not marred by PTSD please give them hope and faith that there are better days ahead we thank you in advance for the healing that is about to come in your name we pray amen I pray that as you sleep you will experience the faith and love of Christ Psalm 91 4 through 6 says he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday may God cover you in his wings so that you will experience his hope and comfort let's listen again to this sleep story designed to help you experience victory over your PTSD so that you can sleep soundly 
if there was ever a candidate in the Bible for someone who most likely dealt with PTSD it would have been David imagine being a shepherd boy and facing down a lion and a bear then he faced a giant named Goliath then he hid from the jealous King Saul who wanted to kill him finally he was a king who fought in many battles there was a lot of trauma David faced how did he handle it because of David's obedience to God the prophet Samuel told King Saul that David was a man after God's own heart David is the only person referred to this way in the Bible but that doesn't mean that David had it easy in life imagine that you are sitting in the shade of a big tree in an open field it's a nice clear and sunny day a light breeze blows over you and you get a whiff of the sweet smell of flowers blooming in the pasture you look out and you see lots of sheep grazing they also seem to be enjoying the amazing weather suddenly you hear the sound of music you look over sitting on a rock nearby is a young David watching over the flock he's playing his harp take a moment and enjoy the gentle crystal clear sound coming from David's harp as you listen notice that the music is like that of worship it's very pleasing to both your ears and your soul you find yourself in a very grateful mood take a moment and thank God as you listen to the worship music coming out of David's harp father thank you for your many blessings you have blessed this child of yours so much Lord I ask that you bless them now with a great night of sleep Psalm 138 1 through 8 says the following I thank you Lord with all my heart I sing praise to you before the gods I face your holy temple bow down and praise your name because of your constant love and faithfulness because you have shown that your name and your commands are supreme you answered me when I called to you with your strength you strengthened me all the kings in the world will praise you Lord because they have heard your promises they will sing about what you have done and about your great glory even though you are so high above you care for the lowly and the proud cannot hide from you when I am surrounded by troubles you keep me safe you oppose my angry enemies and save me by your power you will do everything you have promised Lord your love is eternal complete the work that you have begun now that you're finished worshiping and hearing God's Word you feel a sense of confidence as you look out into the pasture you see a lion sneaking up on a lamb before you know it you see David jump in and defeat the lion with his staff he then picks up the lamb and returns it to the other sheep you're amazed at how this young man is not only fearless but how he treats his sheep with so much love and care you continue to watch David even though he was calm in the moment you can see that the event had a profound effect on him 
He looks as if he just went through something dramatic. He goes back to the rock he was sitting on and continues to play his harp. You see that the worship music he is playing has a calming effect on him. The music also has a calming effect on you. So much so that you fall into a deep sleep. Now you find yourself standing off to the side in a large tent. Surrounding you are some very nervous Israelite soldiers. There seems to be some arguing among them. You hear one soldier call out, King Saul, what are we to do about this giant of a man? Everyone gets quiet, and they all turn their attention to the center of the tent. Sitting there is a man, King Saul. He's sitting at a round table. He looks stressed and tired. He looks around the room and doesn't know how to answer the question. Just then, everyone hears a voice shouting from a distance. One soldier says to another, That's Goliath. Goliath is taunting them. He is calling out to them and challenging them all to a fight. He then reminds everyone that he is a Philistine champion. He then asks why the Israelites are all soldiers if they're not going to fight. Everyone's attention returns to King Saul. He has no words. He looks defeated. Just then, a boy comes walking by you. You immediately notice him. It's the same shepherd boy you just saw defeat a lion. He's looking for his brother so he can give them some food and supplies. He finds them. And as he walks over to them, Goliath's voice can be heard again. This time, he is asking for the most courageous soldier to face him on the battlefield. Saul stands up and says that he will reward the man that faces down Goliath. David steps up. His brothers try to stop him. David asks everyone in the tent, who here is going to let this Philistine defy the armies of the living God? No one answers him. Just then, David turns to King Saul and says, I am your servant and will go and fight him. Everyone in the tent laughs, but David pleads with King Saul to let him go. The king then takes off a piece of his armor for David to wear, but it is too big. Everyone laughs again. Psalm 27 1 comes to mind. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Father, May my friend listening tonight choose to trust you and know that you will take care of their enemies. David leaves the tent and everyone follows. He pulls a slingshot from his waistband. You hear laughter coming from some of the soldiers. King Saul and David's brothers have a look of fear on their faces. David steps out onto the battlefield and calls out for Goliath. Goliath appears as he walks out from among a group of Philistine soldiers. He's huge, and you are shocked by not only his height, but also how strong and broad he is. Goliath yells out to David, Am I a dog that you have come at me with a stick? Everyone now sees that Goliath is very angry and insulted. 
some of the Israelite soldiers run back into their tents to hide. David then yells back in a voice that is, surprisingly, just as strong as the giants. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. Goliath and his men laugh. And unfortunately, some of the Israelites do as well. Then David yells out, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. Goliath starts to move toward David, and David begins to twirl his slingshot. Just as Goliath begins to swing his sword, David's rock nails Goliath right in his head. Goliath falls and is clearly dead. Everyone is quiet and shocked. Just then you hear the ram horns blow and the Philistines start running in terror. All the Israelites cheer and chase after the Philistines. They know the battle is theirs. As you stand there watching the soldiers go, a sense of peace and calm comes over you. David has just reminded you that God will fight your battles for you. You no longer have to fight your personal battles alone, even when they seem to be so much bigger than you. You're reminded that your God is bigger. As you turn to go back to the tent, you notice that it's no longer there. Instead, you see the opening of a large cave. You can hear some familiar music coming from inside the cave. Your curiosity gets the best of you, and you decide to investigate. As you enter the cave, you take notice of how cold and damp it is. You continue to move inside when you see a familiar face. He's a bit older now, but David is sitting next to a small fire and playing his harp. This time he sings along and you recognize the words. He sings Psalm 57, verse 1. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. David appears tired, but the music seems to calm his spirit. He puts out his fire and appears to lie down to go to sleep. A loud, booming voice comes from the mouth of the cave, waking up David. You look around the corner and see King Saul ordering his men to keep looking for David. He tells his men that he knows they are close to finding him. Then Saul collapses to the ground and falls asleep. David sneaks quietly past you and toward Saul. He finds Saul's sword lying on the ground nearby. David picks up the sword and turns toward Saul. He goes to Saul and cuts a piece off his garment. He then puts the sword back where he found it and goes back to where he was in the cave. He falls asleep, and you decide to fall asleep as well. The next morning, you are awakened by King Saul yelling at his men to wake up. You look over, 
and David sits there with tears rolling down his cheeks Saul exits the cave to go on his way as Saul begins to leave David runs after him you follow David to see what is about to happen David yells out after King Saul my Lord the King this day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave I spared you I will not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed look at this piece of your robe in my hand I cut off the corner of your robe but did not kill you you look to see what Saul is going to do Saul falls to his knees and begins to weep he then says to David that he is more righteous than himself David runs to him and they embrace thank you Lord for forgiving this precious child of yours there are times when they may not believe that they deserve it but you are a faithful God amen as you look again you find yourself in a palace in fact you're in the throne room where a much older David sits once again he plays his harp and praises God he sings Psalm 30 verses 1 through 3 I will extol you O Lord for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me O Lord my God I cried to you for help and you have healed me O Lord you have brought up my soul from shale you restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit you now realize that there is evidence that David has experienced PTSD after a battle not only on the field but also with his soul the way David handled it was by turning to the Lord for help as you have seen he often cried out to God through both prayer and worship in the end he discovered that the Lord can bring healing and freedom from his inner torment you realize that God's ability to help as you seek his wisdom comfort guidance and strength is beyond measure father I ask that you comfort this precious listener who is suffering under the mental anguish of PTSD please help and comfort this one who has a wounded soul Holy Spirit work mightily to provide peace and comfort may the pains of trauma be covered with the healing power of your word may your son intercede and provide salvation and wholeness and God I pray that those with mental scars would not convert those into forms of physical harm I ask now for your shield of protection Jesus we ask that you would defeat the ills of PTSD finally father I ask that you would heal them so that their future is not marred by PTSD please give them hope and faith that there are better days ahead we thank you in advance for the healing that is about to come in your name we pray amen I pray that as you sleep you will experience the faith and love of Christ Psalm 91 4 through 6 says 
he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday may God cover you in his wings so that you will experience his hope and comfort let's listen again to this sleep story designed to help you experience victory over your PTSD so that you can sleep soundly if there was ever a candidate in the Bible for someone who most likely dealt with PTSD it would have been David imagine being a shepherd boy and facing down a lion and a bear then he faced a giant named Goliath then he hid from the jealous King Saul who wanted to kill him finally he was a king who fought in many battles there was a lot of trauma David faced how did he handle it because of David's obedience to God the prophet Samuel told King Saul that David was a man after God's own heart David is the only person referred to this way in the Bible but that doesn't mean that David had it easy in life imagine that you are sitting in the shade of a big tree in an open field it's a nice clear and sunny day a light breeze blows over you and you get a whiff of the sweet smell of flowers blooming in the pasture you look out and you see lots of sheep grazing they also seem to be enjoying the amazing weather suddenly you hear the sound of music you look over sitting on a rock nearby is a young David watching over the flock he's playing his harp take a moment and enjoy the gentle crystal clear sound coming from David's harp as you listen notice that the music is like that of worship it's very pleasing to both your ears and your soul you find yourself in a very grateful mood take a moment and thank God as you listen to the worship music coming out of David's harp father thank you for your many blessings you have blessed this child of yours so much Lord I ask that you bless them now with a great night of sleep Psalm 138 1 through 8 says the following I thank you Lord with all my heart I sing praise to you before the gods I face your holy temple bow down and praise your name because of your constant love and faithfulness because you have shown that your name and your commands are supreme you answered me when I called to you with your strength you strengthened me all the kings in the world will praise you Lord because they have heard your promises they will sing about what you have done and about your great glory even though you are so high above you care for the lowly and the proud cannot hide from you when I am surrounded by troubles you keep me safe you oppose my angry enemies and save me by your power you will do everything you have promised Lord your love is eternal complete the work that you have begun now that you're finished worshiping and hearing God's Word you feel a sense of confidence 
as you look out into the pasture you see a lion sneaking up on a lamb before you know it you see David jump in and defeat the lion with his staff he then picks up the lamb and returns it to the other sheep you're amazed at how this young man is not only fearless but how he treats his sheep with so much love and care you continue to watch David even though he was calm in the moment you can see that the event had a profound effect on him he looks as if he just went through something dramatic he goes back to the rock he was sitting on and continues to play his harp you see that the worship music he is playing has a calming effect on him the music also has a calming effect on you so much so that you fall into a deep sleep now you find yourself standing off to the side in a large tent surrounding you are some very nervous Israelite soldiers there seems to be some arguing among them you hear one soldier call out King Saul what are we to do about this giant of a man everyone gets quiet and they all turn their attention to the center of the tent sitting there is a man King Saul he's sitting at a round table he looks stressed and tired he looks around the room and doesn't know how to answer the question just then everyone hears a voice shouting from a distance one soldier says to another that's Goliath Goliath is taunting them he's calling out to them and challenging them all to a fight he then reminds everyone that he is a Philistine champion he then asks why the Israelites are all soldiers if they're not going to fight everyone's attention returns to King Saul he has no words he looks defeated just then a boy comes walking by you you immediately notice him it's the same Shepherd boy you just saw defeat a lion he's looking for his brother so he can give them some food and supplies he finds them and as he walks over to them Goliath's voice can be heard again this time he is asking for the most courageous soldier to face him on the battlefield Saul stands up and says that he will reward the man that faces down Goliath David steps up his brothers try to stop him David asks everyone in the tent who here is going to let this Philistine defy the armies of the Living God no one answers him just then David turns to King Saul and says I am your servant and will go and fight him everyone in the tent laughs but David pleads with King Saul to let him go the king then takes off a piece of his armor for David to wear but it is too big everyone laughs again Psalm 27 1 comes to mind the Lord is my light in my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid father may my friend listening tonight choose to trust you and know that you will take care of their enemies David leaves the tent and everyone follows he pulls a slingshot from his waistband you hear laughter coming from some of the soldiers 
King Saul and David's brothers have a look of fear on their faces. David steps out onto the battlefield and calls out for Goliath. Goliath appears as he walks out from among a group of Philistine soldiers. He's huge, and you are shocked by not only his height, but also how strong and broad he is. Goliath yells out to David, Am I a dog that you have come at me with a stick? Everyone now sees that Goliath is very angry and insulted. Some of the Israelite soldiers run back into their tents to hide. David then yells back in a voice that is, surprisingly, just as strong as the giants. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. Goliath and his men laugh, and unfortunately some of the Israelites do as well. Then David yells out, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. Goliath starts to move toward David, and David begins to twirl his slingshot. Just as Goliath begins to swing his sword, David's rock nails Goliath right in his head. Goliath falls and is clearly dead. Everyone is quiet and shocked. Just then you hear the ram horns blow and the Philistines start running in terror. All the Israelites cheer and chase after the Philistines. They know the battle is theirs. As you stand there watching the soldiers go, a sense of peace and calm comes over you. David has just reminded you that God will fight your battles for you. You no longer have to fight your personal battles alone, even when they seem to be so much bigger than you. You're reminded that your God is bigger. As you turn to go back to the tent, you notice that it's no longer there. Instead, you see the opening of a large cave. You can hear some familiar music coming from inside the cave. Your curiosity gets the best of you, and you decide to investigate. As you enter the cave, you take notice of how cold and damp it is. You continue to move inside when you see a familiar face. He's a bit older now, but David is sitting next to a small fire and playing his harp. This time he sings along and you recognize the words. He sings Psalm 57 verse 1. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge. Till the storms of destruction pass by. David appears tired. But the music seems to calm his spirit. He puts out his fire and appears to lie down to go to sleep. A loud, booming voice comes from the mouth of the cave, waking up David. You look around the corner and see King Saul ordering his men to keep looking for David. He tells his men that he knows they are close to finding him. Then Saul collapses to the ground and falls asleep. David sneaks quietly past you 
and toward Saul. He finds Saul's sword lying on the ground nearby. David picks up the sword and turns toward Saul. He goes to Saul and cuts a piece off his garment. He then puts the sword back where he found it and goes back to where he was in the cave. He falls asleep, and you decide to fall asleep as well. The next morning, you are awakened by King Saul yelling at his men to wake up. You look over, and David sits there with tears rolling down his cheeks. Saul exits the cave to go on his way. As Saul begins to leave, David runs after him. You follow David to see what is about to happen. David yells out after King Saul, My Lord the King, this day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave. I spared you. I will not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed. Look at this piece of your robe in my hand. I cut off the corner of your robe, but did not kill you. You look to see what Saul is going to do. Saul falls to his knees and begins to weep. He then says to David that he is more righteous than himself. David runs to him, and they embrace. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving this precious child of yours. There are times when they may not believe that they deserve it, but you are a faithful God. Amen. As you look again, you find yourself in a palace. In fact, you're in the throne room where a much older David sits. Once again, he plays his harp and praises God. He sings Psalm 30, verses 1 through 3. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from shale. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. You now realize that there is evidence that David has experienced PTSD after a battle, not only on the field, but also with his soul. The way David handled it was by turning to the Lord for help. As you have seen, he often cried out to God through both prayer and worship. In the end, he discovered that the Lord can bring healing and freedom from his inner torment. You realize that God's ability to help as you seek his wisdom, comfort, guidance, and strength is beyond measure. Father, I ask that you comfort this precious listener who is suffering under the mental anguish of PTSD. Please help and comfort this one who has a wounded soul. Holy Spirit, work mightily to provide peace and comfort. May the pains of trauma be covered with the healing power of your word. May your Son intercede and provide salvation and wholeness. And God, I pray that those with mental scars would not convert those into forms of physical harm. I ask now for your shield of protection. Jesus, we ask that you would defeat the ills of PTSD. 
Finally, Father, I ask that you would heal them so that their future is not marred by PTSD. Please give them hope and faith that there are better days ahead. We thank you in advance for the healing that is about to come. In your name we pray. Amen. I pray that as you sleep, you will experience the faith and love of Christ. Psalm 91, 4 through 6 says, He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. May God cover you in his wings so that you will experience his hope and comfort. Let's listen again to this sleep story designed to help you experience victory over your PTSD so that you can sleep soundly. If there was ever a candidate in the Bible for someone who most likely dealt with PTSD, it would have been David. Imagine being a shepherd boy and facing down a lion and a bear. Then he faced a giant named Goliath. Then he hid from the jealous King Saul who wanted to kill him. Finally, he was a king who fought in many battles. There was a lot of trauma David faced. How did he handle it? Because of David's obedience to God, the prophet Samuel told King Saul that David was a man after God's own heart. David is the only person referred to this way in the Bible. But that doesn't mean that David had it easy in life. Imagine that you are sitting in the shade of a big tree in an open field. It's a nice, clear and sunny day. A light breeze blows over you and you get a whiff of the sweet smell of flowers blooming in the pasture. You look out and you see lots of sheep grazing. They also seem to be enjoying the amazing weather. Suddenly, you hear the sound of music. You look over, sitting on a rock nearby, is a young David watching over the flock. He's playing his harp. Take a moment and enjoy the gentle, crystal clear sound coming from David's harp. As you listen, notice that the music is like that of worship. It's very pleasing to both your ears and your soul. You find yourself in a very grateful mood. Take a moment and thank God as you listen to the worship music coming out of David's harp. Father, thank you for your many blessings. You have blessed this child of yours so much. Lord, I ask that you bless them now with a great night of sleep. Psalm 138, 1 through 8 says the following. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. I sing praise to you before the gods. I face your holy temple, bow down, and praise your name because of your constant love and faithfulness. Because you have shown that your name and your commands are supreme. You answered me when I called to you. With your strength, you strengthened me. All the kings in the world will praise you, Lord, because they have heard your promises. They will sing about what you have done and about your great glory. 
even though you are so high above you care for the lowly and the proud cannot hide from you when I am surrounded by troubles you keep me safe you oppose my angry enemies and save me by your power you will do everything you have promised Lord your love is eternal complete the work that you have begun now that you're finished worshiping and hearing God's Word you feel a sense of confidence as you look out into the pasture you see a lion sneaking up on a lamb before you know it you see David jump in and defeat the lion with his staff he then picks up the lamb and returns it to the other sheep you're amazed at how this young man is not only fearless but how he treats his sheep with so much love and care you continue to watch David even though he was calm in the moment you can see that the event had a profound effect on him he looks as if he just went through something dramatic he goes back to the rock he was sitting on and continues to play his harp you see that the worship music he is playing has a calming effect on him the music also has a calming effect on you so much so that you fall into a deep sleep now you find yourself standing off to the side in a large tent surrounding you are some very nervous Israelite soldiers there seems to be some arguing among them you hear one soldier call out King Saul what are we to do about this giant of a man everyone gets quiet and they all turn their attention to the center of the tent sitting there is a man King Saul he's sitting at a round table he looks stressed and tired he looks around the room and doesn't know how to answer the question just then everyone hears a voice shouting from a distance one soldier says to another that's Goliath Goliath is taunting them he is calling out to them and challenging them all to a fight he then reminds everyone that he is a Philistine champion he then asks why the Israelites are all soldiers if they're not going to fight everyone's attention returns to King Saul he has no words he looks defeated just then a boy comes walking by you you immediately notice him it's the same Shepherd boy you just saw defeat a lion he's looking for his brother so he can give them some food and supplies he finds them and as he walks over to them Goliath's voice can be heard again this time he is asking for the most courageous soldier to face him on the battlefield Saul stands up and says that he will reward the man that faces down Goliath David steps up his brothers try to stop him David asks everyone in the tent who here is going to let this Philistine defy the armies of the Living God no one answers him just then David turns to King Saul and says I am your servant and will go and fight him everyone in the tent laughs but David pleads with King Saul to let him go the king then takes off a piece of his armor for David to wear but it is too big everyone laughs again Psalm 27 1 comes to mind 
the Lord is my light in my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid father may my friend listening tonight choose to trust you and know that you will take care of their enemies David leaves the tent and everyone follows he pulls a slingshot from his waistband you hear laughter coming from some of the soldiers King Saul and David's brothers have a look of fear on their faces David steps out onto the battlefield and calls out for Goliath Goliath appears as he walks out from among a group of Philistine soldiers he's huge and you are shocked by not only his height but also how strong and broad he is Goliath yells out to David am I a dog that you have come at me with a stick everyone now sees that Goliath is very angry and insulted some of the Israelite soldiers run back into their tents to hide David then yells back in a voice that is surprisingly just as strong as the Giants you come against me with sword and spear and javelin but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied this day the Lord will deliver you into my hands Goliath and his men laugh and unfortunately some of the Israelites do as well then David yells out all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands Goliath starts to move toward David and David begins to twirl his slingshot just as Goliath begins to swing his sword David's rock nails Goliath right in his head Goliath falls and is clearly dead everyone is quiet and shocked just then you hear the ram horns blow and the Philistines start running in terror all the Israelites cheer and chase after the Philistines they know the battle is theirs as you stand there watching the soldiers go a sense of peace and calm comes over you David has just reminded you that God will fight your battles for you you no longer have to fight your personal battles alone even when they seem to be so much bigger than you you're reminded that your God is bigger as you turn to go back to the tent you notice that it's no longer there instead you see the opening of a large cave you can hear some familiar music coming from inside the cave your curiosity gets the best of you and you decide to investigate as you enter the cave you take notice of how cold and damp it is you continue to move inside when you see a familiar face he's a bit older now but David is sitting next to a small fire and playing his harp this time he sings along and you recognize the words he sings Psalm 57 verse 1 be merciful to me O God be merciful to me for in you my soul takes refuge in the shadow of your wings I will take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by David appears tired 
but the music seems to calm his spirit he puts out his fire and appears to lie down to go to sleep a loud booming voice comes from the mouth of the cave waking up David you look around the corner and see King Saul ordering his men to keep looking for David he tells his men that he knows they are close to finding him then Saul collapses to the ground and falls asleep David sneaks quietly past you and toward Saul he finds Saul's sword lying on the ground nearby David picks up the sword and turns toward Saul he goes to Saul and cuts a piece off his garment he then puts the sword back where he found it and goes back to where he was in the cave he falls asleep and you decide to fall asleep as well the next morning you are awakened by King Saul yelling at his men to wake up you look over and David sits there with tears rolling down his cheeks Saul exits the cave to go on his way as Saul begins to leave David runs after him you follow David to see what is about to happen David yells out after King Saul my Lord the King this day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave I spared you I will not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed look at this piece of your robe in my hand I cut off the corner of your robe but did not kill you you look to see what Saul is going to do Saul falls to his knees and begins to weep he then says to David that he is more righteous than himself David runs to him and they embrace thank you Lord for forgiving this precious child of yours there are times when they may not believe that they deserve it but you are a faithful God amen as you look again you find yourself in a palace in fact you're in the throne room where a much older David sits once again he plays his harp and praises God he sings Psalm 30 verses 1 through 3 I will extol you O Lord for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me O Lord my God I cry to you for help and you have healed me O Lord you have brought up my soul from shale you restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit you now realize that there is evidence that David has experienced PTSD after a battle not only on the field but also with his soul the way David handled it was by turning to the Lord for help as you have seen he often cried out to God through both prayer and worship in the end he discovered that the Lord can bring healing and freedom from his inner torment you realize that God's ability to help as you seek his wisdom comfort guidance and strength is beyond measure father I ask that you comfort this precious listener who is suffering under the mental anguish of PTSD 
please help and comfort this one who has a wounded soul Holy Spirit work mightily to provide peace and comfort may the pains of trauma be covered with the healing power of your word may your son intercede and provide salvation and wholeness and God I pray that those with mental scars would not convert those into forms of physical harm I ask now for your shield of protection Jesus we ask that you would defeat the ills of PTSD finally father I ask that you would heal them so that their future is not marred by PTSD please give them hope and faith that there are better days ahead we thank you in advance for the healing that is about to come in your name we pray amen I pray that as you sleep you will experience the faith and love of Christ Psalm 91 4 through 6 says he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday may God cover you in his wings so that you will experience his hope and comfort <laughs>